This week, we're going to learn how to make a low-rise thong. Now, the first place that we're going to be is at our serger. Um, I've already pinned the piping pieces to the thong with the lining. So you're going to secure down both sides, and you're going to put the top of the piping piece about a half an inch over where you're going to sew because usually when you sew it doesn't just it doesn't look as nice it doesn't finish as well unless you cut that half an inch off of there and you're going to pull because it's less it's tighter you're going to pull and make it all go together Now when you're done with that, securing the sides with the stay stitch, you're going to go to your zigzag stitch or your cover stitch machine. You're going to go ahead and wrap the piping piece around real snug and tight so it's going to look like that. And then you're going to feed it through the machine. I usually start it a little bit with another piece of fabric or the napkin because sometimes it gets bunched up underneath. And it's just a little tug, not a big tug. And I usually do these one after another so I don't have to put this paper towel in here to tug on. And you know, I don't think I really have that problem with a zigzag machine. I could just feed it under and it would work. It was this industrial machine I've had problems with. Okay, now I actually trim off those extra. You see how it's not as nice at the very end? So that's why I make it go off a half of an inch on everything. Everything I make, I make my piping pieces go off a half an inch. And then I'm just gonna cut those off and throw them in the trash. And now I'm gonna pin the waistband on to the front and the back. So the one step I did before I came over to my serger is I straight stitched right across this piece of piping. On both sides, I didn't secure down the stitch or anything. So we're gonna open this up and find the center of this band. This is gonna be the waistband and it stretches a little bit as you sew. So you're gonna take the center and you're gonna put it to where I pinned it in the center of the front. And you're gonna pin it down. And usually I just make it flat and then I stretch it where the piping piece is. I just stretch it over a little bit. And I'm gonna stay stitch that down with the serger. Now I'm gonna stay stitch down the back also. The back, depending on the fabric, this fabric is a little bit slicker than some of the spandex liker fabric. So I kind of place it a little bit to the left of the center because it's going to slide a little bit as I put that stay stitch down. So I've attached the waistband to the thong and we're going to finish up on the zigzag or the cover stitch machine. And I usually start in the very back and I fold it over. It's gonna look like this on one side and this on the other side and I just wrap it around. Make sure it's real tight. I know that's some of the problems that anybody I've taught how to sew um, had is they didn't really make it tight enough to the other fabric they're sewing it to. So I'm gonna sew it all the way around. So that is your completed wide thong. It has a T back, it doesn't have a Y back. There's the back of it. And there's the front. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial for a low rise wide front thong. It is one of my best sellers on my Etsy store, so it should be really popular at the club if you can teach yourself how to make it. And don't forget to check me out at basictees.com. Until next time, stay sexy. Bye.